so anxious to taste this. My upper body is calm, but under the table I'm dancing. Those dudes at Ebo Spice would be proud. You remember the Rasta video that I showed you? Those awesome guys. Hand blending guava. This is hand blending ginger. Strong and fast. Crash. That is the amount of ginger. That's insane. It's like 100 grams of ginger for a 300 gram cup. So, go in with the spoon. Yes! It's some dancing ginger. There's no violence, there's no crash, it's just dancing. <laughs> yes, happy chef. Happy chef is a good thing, especially when it's your girlfriend. <laughs> can you, can you see smoke coming out of my mouth? Wow, that's the amount of ginger it takes. You gotta try that. I think I'm gonna cough. Yeah, it's super thick. That's so awesome. Now well, that'll wake you up. It's a lot of yoga. I like it, but wow, that is intense. Is it our yoga? That is usually, so usually yogurt is something like maybe with Indian food, I know, it'll cool you down. No, this would be like a joke to play on someone. Here, drink this. They're like double on fire. Oh, that is so soothing though. It's just like a shock at first. It's like a ginger bomb. The ginger crashes into you. How many times I tried this? Four times. And it's perfect right now. Look at that. Can you say, say it again? Ginger crash milk. Could they crash success for your life? Success. The consistency is incredible. And it's like a fire of ginger. So even though this recipe is pretty basic, well, come on, some of the most awesome recipes in the world are basic, so why not? Okay, so to briefly explain a bit of the science behind this, although I said it only has two ingredients, ginger and milk, milk actually has three important elements. There's a lot of water in milk, there's fat, and then there's protein, and it's the protein that is the key here. That's why you need the temperature, and that is what is gonna develop the texture because as the milk curdles, something very important for this dish happens. Okay, so let's get to the recipe and then we'll taste it again. Although ginger skin is healthy, for this you just want the ginger liquid, so it makes it easier if you remove the skin from your mature ginger. So you chop up the ginger into chunks. If you have a blender, you can use it. And if you don't, we also tried that way as well. You're just gonna have to chop very finely and then use a cloth and squeeze. Or you can just try the third way, definitely the smartest way. Use a cheese grater and grate the ginger like this. You can also see the amount of ginger we used varied widely, and I will get to that a bit later. very stoked this morning to try a totally new food with a hilariously cute name. Jiang Zhuang Nai. Jiang is ginger, Zhuang is crash, Nai is milk. So ginger crash milk. And there's a test to see if you've made it properly. It should hold up a spoon on the top. I've got a wooden spoon here, and this is the test, the surface tension. Ah, okay. So there's at least a skin on top. So the thing is, hot milk pouring directly into thick ginger soup. Heavy ginger flavored milk. It's warm, it's so creamy, obviously it's milk. Okay, <laughs> that is a type of flavor that takes you back to being four years old and so happy when mom greets you with a warm beverage like this when you're coming out from the cold weather outside. That is, 
That is awesome, okay. <gasps> and then the test, the spoon test. Jiang Zhuang Nai, ginger crash milk. Okay, let's taste. See how much, how much ginger this Yes. Has. Oh my goodness. Now that's how to upgrade your ginger intake for the day. Yeah. Your ginger, get ready your stamina. Ginger crash milk. The fourth time trying this ginger crash milk recipe. Hopefully fourth time's the charm. The consistency is the hard part, not the ingredients, obviously. It's just the most ginger you could ever fit into one one cup of milk. <laughs> Today crash success for your eye. Success. The consistency is incredible. Kinda of funny. This food is the only time you want a crash to be successful. And it's like a fire of ginger. Only ginger has that spiciness, but also like a calm, just powerful, yet gentle burn all the way down. It's just like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so remember some benefits of ginger. Again, it's very good for the entire digestive system. So drinking a cup of like ginger tea or just ginger in hot water it will it can relieve pain of heartburn like digestion uh, relieve nausea and help with yeah just aid with digestion in general ginger is a very healthy thing it is anti-inflammatory as well so good to good to drink when you're not feeling well mm. good to drink wow that's awesome good to drink for like muscle pains like anti-inflammatory mm. Okay, and it, this actually has so much ginger that Lee is even going to save it and use this to cook other recipes with as well, because that is, she hand pressed it. So there's, there's a ton of pure ginger extract in here, but also there's still a lot of ginger flavor left in there, so she can use this for cooking for several recipes. Hope you have enjoyed this ginger crashed milk. Again, such an epic name for this tasty drink. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below if you tried to crash some milk yourself. Crash safely, please. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers. Possibly a word of caution. I did want to know if there would be any negative effects from drinking so much ginger. I myself do have a lower blood pressure than average, so I was expecting to feel lightheaded sometime throughout the day. I think I've had six cups of ginger soup before, the tofu hua here on the street in Thailand, so this would be even way more concentrated than that. But in the end, no problem. If the recommended amount is two grams per cup of ginger tea, then today I might have drank about 50 servings, maybe 40 or 50 servings. Lee shredded an extraordinary amount just to make sure that the curdling effect would work. So if you do have dangerously low blood pressure or you are on blood pressure medication, I would not recommend making so much ginger in the crash milk. Have a great day.